Hey guys, another comparison video for you. The Nokia Lumia 1020 and the Canon PowerShot SX210IS. I'm gonna be comparing them as vlogging cameras. I've used this one many a time. Uh, this Nokia Lumia 1020 cell phone that works really well as a camera. It's a 41 megapixel camera versus a 14 megapixel camera. Um, let's see how it does. So first off, we have the power shot at arm's length away. This is a video and audio testing uh, specifically for uh, vlogging, um, but not necessarily so because this will give you a full spectrum of how it handles shaking because I don't have this on a stabilizer, how it handles light change as I walk towards a window, and also how it reacts to focus points. So let's go here and go from this length to this length. So there's a little bit of an uh, adjustment for, um, for exposure and um, also probably focus. So it takes a second to focus, but it's actually not that bad. I'm actually quite impressed with this. So this records at 720p um, and like I said, it's got 14 megapixel camera, 14.1 and a 14 times optical zoom. So let's go ahead and try this out with a zoom. The f-stop is a 3.1 so you're not going to get a really good depth of field with this camera but the um, zoom action is actually pretty solid on this. So this is all mechanical zoom until right here. This is digital. It's pretty solid. Um, the colors actually look pretty nice in this. A little bit vibrant compared to the actual reality of it. Overall though, I'm impressed with the quality. I'm not quite sure how the audio is, but it has two uh, left and right microphones right here on top that you could easily put a little bit of a windsock on and uh, have the cut down so there wouldn't be any wind noise from it. So let's give my other camera a try as a comparison. So here we are with the Nokia Lumia 1020 at arm's length away so you can understand the different uh, sizes of the lens. One might be wider than the other. I'm not too sure until I actually look at the footage. So here it is uh, adjusting to light coming in on my face. Um, the autofocus on this one I already know is fairly good. It takes a second as well. I think it probably takes about just as long as that one. Um, and the audio, it's, it's a good strong microphone that picks it up because it is a microphone that's used for the, the phone itself. Um, however, I do find that there's a little bit of an echo with the Nokia Lumia 1020. 41 megapixels, different size sensor, and it records at 1080p, uh, so a little bit higher on the HD there. So let's go check out the kitty. Yeah, that, uh, see, so the um, exposure is actually a little bit better on this one, I find it, it adjusts a little bit more rapidly. Um, not sure about focus length. Let's figure that out. So I'm too close there. So yeah, there we go. So it takes a second to focus, but you can actually see the depth of field is pretty good. The floor is a little bit blurry and my hand is just in focus. I think the lens is, um, can't remember, maybe a 2.8. So it's a little bit better. It took a second to figure out what to focus on there, but it got it. A uh, second to adjust it to that brightness there, and a second to focus. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm pretty sure this will all be digital zoom. Um, so that's the zoom there. It's also not really wanting to focus at that point. I think maybe it's just not focusing on the tree. So there's no touch focus once you're already recording. It's having trouble finding focus. It's also got an optical um, stabilizer, so when you're zoomed in, it'll stabilize really strangely. And sometimes it works if you're, if you're really smooth. 
the optic or the um, digital stabilizer will work pretty well. But I find that uh, sometimes it does warp the image a little bit. So this is the difference between a camera that you can buy used on eBay, the Canon PowerShot. Uh, it's like I said, 720 instead of 1080p. Um, but it is about $80 Canadian used, and this phone is about $150 Canadian used. Of course, it is a phone. It has different um, things that you can also use it for, like phone calls and texts and apps and whatever. Um, but uh, it doesn't have as nice of a lens that, that zooms as well. Um, it isn't solely purposed for a camera, which is nice because it's, it has simple functions on it. Uh, the things I do like about it is I think it adjusts to the light a little bit better. I'll take a look at the footage and um, we'll compare it a little bit more. And we'll so I'm using the Canon PowerShot again and after reviewing the footage, I actually quite like the look of this except for that um, my, it, when, when you're overexposed, like my skin tone became very overexposed and, and was like very white. Uh, that didn't happen on the Nokia, so I think maybe the colors um, in the, that it picks up are a little bit better in the Nokia, but I do like uh, some things about this, this image that I get from this um, Canon, actually, and it really shows that you don't need, you know, a DSLR and a fancy camera and all this equipment to make YouTube videos. You could simply use this Canon. Oh, I also did want to say that the there's a built-in image stabilizer on this one, and I did find the image a lot more stable on this Canon as opposed to the Nokia Lumia 1020. Uh, I do have reviews where I say that the Nokia is better than the other things that I review it against, um, but um, to be honest, I like this Canon PowerShot, and um, I'm thinking about not selling it at this point. Because uh, I do a little bit of resale, I bought this specifically to resale it and thought I could do a little comparison video before I do that. Uh, I do like this this camera though. It's very simple. It, it does what you need it to do. It's got good audio, so you could do talking vlogs. You could take this with you traveling. It's small, it's compact. Uh, it, I think it's perfect for a beginner YouTuber who needs to get a cheap camera, who wants HD. Um, you know, people aren't really going to notice, to be honest, that it's 720 and not 1080p when they're watching on YouTube. It's a small screen they're usually watching it on their phone or even on their computer. It's not even that big. I don't think that people would care that much and it gives you the ability to focus more on um, your talents and your content having, you know, actual... Um, interest in it as opposed to just high quality footage that you stitch together and and you know you want people to like it because it's high quality uh, this makes it so that you have to have content within your videos um, so yeah that's my that's my full review and and very unbiased review i don't care which camera you like better uh, but if you did like one of these cameras, or if you're an Amazon shopper who wants to support my show here on YouTube, go ahead and click the links in the description. Uh, within 24 hours, if you make a purchase on Amazon after clicking my links, I earn like 6 to 12% of that purchase price, and it costs you nothing extra. It's just a way to support me on this channel. Um, I personally like this this Canon PowerShot over the Nokia, uh, but that being said, I will probably still keep on using my Nikon uh, D5100, which is this camera up here on the on the stabilizer there or on the tripod. But this one does have a better autofocus than that one because that one's uh, got some motors and the lens that goes when it does autofocus. So I have to manually focus it when I vlog, so things end up being out of focus. So um, maybe this is a better option than that camera for some things. And, and it definitely is for some things. Uh, if you got any questions, go ahead and post in the comment section below. If you like the content and want to see more and lots more filmmaking techniques and, and uh, reviews and van life videos and reselling. So I do lots of stuff here on this channel. Hit subscribe. Uh, I've got a Patreon account if you want to support me that way. 
Um, otherwise, the Amazon or just subscribing, you know, that's, that's a great way that helps me out a lot. Also, if you are a tech company that produces cameras or any other kind of gear uh, and you want to send some stuff to me, go ahead and hit me up in the comments or send me a message at depictedreality at gmail.com and uh, we'll have a little chat. That'll be good. So thanks guys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.